Princess Mononoke is directed by Hayao Miyazaki and is uh, celebrating its 25th anniversary this year. There were screenings of it earlier today. There will be uh, more tomorrow and uh, more on uh, Wednesday at those same theaters, at those same select theaters. Tomorrow will be the Japanese dub. Wednesday will be the English dub, which features the voices of Billy Crudup, Minnie Driver, Claire Danes, Jada Pinkett Smith. I'm just going to let all that die right now. It also features the voices of Jillian Anderson and... Uh, Billy Bob Thornton, as well as Keith David. The film uh, follows the prince, a prince named Ashitaka, voiced by Crudup, in a brilliant opening uh, action sequence. He uh, gets a cur- he gets a, a curse laid upon him by a. a wild boar that he kills and this uh, forces him to leave his village and uh, he goes on a journey to uh, lift the curse and on that journey he comes across uh, Lady Eboshi the leader of a, a small town called Iron Town who wants to clear out the nearby forest and expand her town because all the resources there will make uh, Iron Town the richest town in Japan. And but in the meantime, uh, what's keeping her from doing that is uh, San, who is uh, fighting Iboshi to protect the forest. So, Yaboshi uh, san and uh, Ashitaka, they all had this fight going on. Yaboshi is fighting to... Well, you, you can actually... You really get why they all are fighting uh, their fight. Lady Yaboshi is fighting to make her town more valuable. She's, she also really, really cares about the people of her town. She does, she does all this stuff. She rewards them for their hard work. And the, all she wants to do is just make their home better. She just wants to make Iron Town better, which, as the town's leader, that's of course very understandable. It, San's uh, fight is also very understandable because she's trying to protect the forest, uh, and it uh, it uh, feels like commentary on the things that are going on uh, today because. Uh, in the real life, we're cutting down forests when we we need to learn to live with the forest. And uh, the animals uh, in the for that live in the forest. And uh, we need to remember that as we tried as we try to expand our towns and cut down these four, and we keep cutting down these forests, we keep cutting down the homes of wild animals. But Ashitaka, on the other, Ashitaka is actually fighting what I believe is the most noble of all the fights. Because I feel like he's fighting to end all the fighting. Like, there's once, for example, there's this one scene where he is 
tempted to uh, pull out his sword and uh, kill Lady Eboshi because he finds out that he is cursed because of her actions. And he uh, stops himself because he says, killing you is... N He's basically saying that killing uh, her is not going to make anything better. And that is... That's something that I actually really, really respect out of him. Because uh, I don't believe that uh, violence is ever the answer to anything it violence just makes people worse and that's why I that's one reason why I admire Ashitaka for his fight he just fights to end it all and there's also the animation the animation, it is so gorgeous, and it just look. What is? I think it was Studio Ghibli's uh, first uh, film to utilize uh, CG. It was definitely Miyazaki's first uh, film to do that to utilize CG, and uh, he utilizes it in a very, very good way. He does it in, like, the best way possible. A way that... I think live-action... I think live-action movies could actually benefit from. Because he keeps the CG to a minimum. So, yeah. He placed the, this rule... Put this rule in place where... The CG just couldn't take up a certain percentage of the film it could only be used at times where there were no other options and there are times where you do really see it but what thankfully when you do really see it all that it does is it complements the traditional 2d animation it just complements it and it makes uh, the action scenes look even smoother. So the an anime films, they are, they're uh, not, they're not exactly, well, they're not animated on every frame, they're, or not always. There are times where they'll animate it on twos, which means they animate it every other frame. And there are times where they animate it on once, which means they animate it on every single frame. And uh, I'd say this one, Princess Mononoke, definitely looks like it's animated on once. Uh, when, when the CG is really noticeable, like there's uh, this one scene where it is rather no the use of CG is rather noticeable, but you just don't care because the the shot is that it's really noticeable is animated on ones and it just looks so smooth, and also it's Studio Ghibli, it's Hayao Miyazaki, it looks absolutely beautiful and the story is absolutely beautiful it just hits you really hard even when there's not in a action sequence uh, going on it hits really hard with something that is really important to the story Yeah, I guess it, this film wound up winning the uh, Jap the 
Japan, it wound up winning Japan's uh, equivalent to Best Picture, and it wound up being the first animated film to do that. Only one other animated film uh, has done that, and it, all, that's also a Studio Ghibli film. Directed by Hayao Miyazaki, it wound up being his very next one, Spirited Away. And I just say that being the first film to do that, that is an honor that Princess Mononoke more than deserves. As a matter of fact, I uh, heard that Harvey, Harvey Weinstein actually wanted to uh, he wanted to edit Princess Mononoke because he felt like he could make it better. You could they could not have made this movie any better than it actually is. I gotta give Princess Mononoke an A plus because of its terrific story and beautiful animation. Yes. This is Kiki's Delivery Service. The soundtrack on vinyl. And... Oh my gosh. This just looks so cool. Um, this looks... So cool. Uh, yeah, all the... All of the... But all the text uh, is in uh, Japanese, even on the on the record itself. Let's try and get uh, let's, gonna get out of the pull out of this and try to get to where uh, I don't think you're gonna be able to. See really see there and yes Kiki's delivery service is going to be one of the films that I will be reviewing later on this year Maybe I'll just show this off more when I talk about that one. I just only have it back. I have it back there because Ghibli, Miyazaki. Anyway, for uh, my thoughts on uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, stay right here. Click the like button. Hit subscribe, and for my thoughts on Sonic the Hedgehog 2, hit the bell, uh, and you will be notified once uh, that video gets uploaded.